On Point from the Somerdale Church of Christ. We're glad you joined us again for this series of studies through the New Testament. We find ourselves now in the Gospel of John, specifically chapter 5 through chapter 12. There's a little section of scripture here in chapter 8 that talks about this man that's born blind. Now Jesus, of course, is going to reveal himself to be the light of the world. But I want you to notice there's a little bit of an argument, a fuss, if you will, about whether or not this man was born blind because of his sin or because of the sin of his parents. And Jesus says something very fascinating here in this miracle. He says, neither is true, that actually this had happened so that God may be glorified. Now, what does that mean? Think about that for just a minute. What does it mean that this boy who was born blind and raised blind has been in this situation because God was going to use it to his glory? I don't think that Jesus is saying that God specifically picked this boy out and said, hey, let's make him blind and then one day Jesus can heal him and we'll get the credit for it. I don't think that's the case at all. I think really what Jesus is saying is that you're focusing, as we do, on the wrong thing. You're not, you're not to be thinking about what or whether something's happened because it's your fault or the fault of someone else. Instead, just think about this is life. This is what happens. Sometimes things happen. There doesn't have to be an explanation. There doesn't have to be a backstory. There doesn't have to be some proof of sin. I've had people tell me before, I feel like this is happening to me in my life because of my job or my health or my bad marriage or whatever the case may be because of something that I've done that God is punishing me. Friend, you've got a totally wrong view of our Father in heaven. He loves you. He loves you so much he sent his son to die in your place. God is not intentionally inflicting you with punishment because he's upset with you. Instead, we live in a fallen world because of sin. And our own sin sometimes gives birth to sin. And sometimes we are the victims of circumstance. And sometimes we are the victims of the pain and the frustration of someone else. They're just simply taking it out on us. So Jesus is saying, don't focus on those things. Focus on the fact that it is because of this event that God is glorified. It's not that God is glorified because of his pain and his, his, uh, you know, his infirmity. It's not because God is, is glorified because of his blindness. God is glorified because of the miracle that takes place after. You see, we want to focus on all of the little details of things. And we want to try to get an answer for ourselves. And, you know, it's just very clear that God doesn't always want to give us the answers there are some things, some secret things that just simply belong to him. So before you blame God for something you've done, before you blame others for something that's happened to you in your life, know that you have a God that if anything is clear through the Bible, he's constantly trying to get his children out of messes. And if you've got a struggle and you're dealing with something, you need to lay it down at the foot of the cross and you need to let Jesus handle it. He will illuminate all things. He is the light of the world. Thank you so much for tuning in to On Point. Hope you enjoyed this study. We'll see you next time, and uh, God bless you.